Well, you could soon be required to wear a seat belt in the back seat of a car. Governor Cuomo wants to make that happen. News Force Chris Horvatz tells us why some transportation groups are giving this proposal a green light. Chris? Hey there, Jackie. According to AAA, a person who does not wear a seat belt in the back seat of a car is three times as likely to be killed in a crash, eight times as likely to be injured. These stats are causing Governor Cuomo to push for a change in the law. His executive budget proposal calls for a change to the current state regulation, which only requires passengers to wear seatbelts in the back seat of a vehicle if they're under the age of 16. Everyone is required to wear a seatbelt in the front seat. But Elizabeth Carey of AAA of Western and Central New York says they notice once people turn 16, they stop wearing those seatbelts in the back seat. That's why they're on board with Governor Cuomo's budget proposal. If you take a look at the numbers from 2016, about 2,400 people were injured, uh, 200 of them seriously by not wearing their seatbelts in the back seat, and many people were killed. Uh, you can become a projectile in the back seat and injure other people in the vehicle as well. So it's just a good idea to buckle up. A lot of people are surprised when they're not from New York to think, oh, there's no real rear seatbelt law, because a lot of states do have them. And here is a map showing all the states which do have a rear seatbelt law. This information comes from the Governor's Highway Safety Association. And you can see many of those states actually in the western part of the country. Governor Cuomo's proposal, of course, is subject to approval from the legislature when the budget is due on April 1st. And Kerry notes that this proposal has been put forward in the past and hasn't gotten passed through the legislature yet. So she says even if that happens again, AAA wants to raise awareness that not wearing a seatbelt in the back seat could be deadly. Chris Horvath, it's News 4 at 530.